These images were taken during the production of Wild Strawberries. Wild Strawberries was shot at Svensk Film Industry Studios in Råsunda, north of Stockholm, and on location in the towns of Granna and Lund in the south of Sweden and in the Stockholm archipelago. Shooting took place in the summer of 1957, between the 2nd of July and the 28th of August. Here we have actress Bibi Andersson getting makeup between takes. And here we have actress Folke Sundqvist. And Björn Bjelvenstam. These images were captured on 16mm and in interviews Bergman has said that he very much enjoyed recording the productions of his films in this way seeing these behind-the-scenes footage as some kind of family albums. And this is Ingrid Tulin, who became a star after her performance in Wild Strawberries. The main character in Wild Strawberries is an aging professor who visits and is confronted with his past during a journey from Stockholm to Lund. The professor is played by Victor Sjöström, famous silent film director. And the idea for the film came to Bergman during a visit to his childhood town of Uppsala. On his way to Dalarna, he drove through Uppsala early one morning and got the urge to visit the apartment where his grandmother had lived and where he had spent a lot of time in his childhood. And as he turned the door handle to enter the apartment, he had the notion that everything inside would be the way it used to be. And he was struck by the idea to make a film about a man who in a very real sense could walk in and out of his own past. And the autobiographical nature of the film is enhanced by the fact that the main character in the film is called Isaac Borg, whose initials IB of course are the same as Ingmar Bergman's. And here is Gunnar Lindblom and Bibi Andersson during a break between takes. Here we once again have Bibi Andersson who plays dual roles in Wild Strawberries. She's both the young contemporary Sara, one of three young hitchhikers picked up by the professor, and, as in this shot, the professor's cousin Sara that he remembers from his youth. And here we have Victor Sjöström sitting up front next to Ingrid Tulin during the shooting of one of the many car sequences in the film, depicting how the aging Professor Borg, together with his daughter-in-law Marianne, played by Ingrid Tulin, travels from Stockholm by car to Lund to take part in a ceremony where he will be promoted to honorary doctor. And this is Naima Wivstrand, who plays the professor's mother. And here is Sjöström chatting with Wivstrand between takes. Quite soon after Bergman began writing the script, he decided to cast Victor Sjöström as the professor in the film. Sjöström himself was quite reluctant at first, but once Bergman had made up his mind, he wouldn't do the film with any other actor. These scenes were taken during the shooting of an anniversary in the film. And the man here is cinematographer Gunnar Fischer. Bergman's collaboration with cinematographer Sven Nyqvist is a famous one, but it was Gunnar Fischer who shot Bergman's most famous films from the 1950s, such as Smiles of a Summer Night, The Seventh Seal and Wild Strawberries. All in all, Fischer and Bergman made 12 films together between 1948 and 1960. This is from one of the early scenes in the film, and we see Sjöström together with Jullan Kindal, who plays the professor's housekeeper, Miss Agda.
And once again we see Bibi Andersson in preparation before a tay in her role as the professor's cousin, Sara. At the time when Wild Strawberries was shot, Sjöström was 77 years old. He turned 78 later that year. Acting in Wild Strawberries was of course a real challenge for him. And at times he forgot his lines and several reshoots were necessary before he got everything right. Ingrid Tullin has said that she and director Bergman had a secret pact. If a scene needed to be reshot because of some mistake on Sjöström's part, Bergman was always to blame her, not Sjöström. And these scenes from within the car were shot using back projection. The model of the car was immobile and the passing countryside was projected on a screen in the background. Wild Strawberries was to be Sjöström's last film performance. After Wild Strawberries, Sjöström returned to the theatre and played the leading part in a travelling tour of the play Johan Ulf Stjärna. Sjöström died three years later in January 1960 at the age of 80. Bergman has on numerous occasions expressed his admiration for Sjöström's silent films and of the influence they've had upon him. Sjöström's 1921 The Phantom Chariot is one of Bergman's favourite films. After his career as a film director, Sjöström continued to act in other directors' films, and when Bergman started making films in the mid-1940s, Sjöström was artistic head of production at Svensk Film Industry, and it was in this capacity he first met with Bergman. And this is Katerina Farago, the script girl of Wild Strawberries. Sjöström had acted once before in a Bergman film, as the orchestra conductor in To Joy, made seven years before Wild Strawberries. And this is Sjöström with Gunnar Björnstrand, who plays the professor's son in the film. Bergman has recalled this moment when he filmed Victor Sjöström and Bibi Andersson between takes. With his 16mm camera, he wanted to capture the understanding, the admiration, the respect and the affection that existed between the two actors. At the time of Wild Strawberries, Bergman had gained a position of unprecedented artistic freedom at the production company Svensk Film Industry. After the success of Smiles of a Summer Night, a film that won the Golden Palm in Cannes, Bergman was given the go-ahead to shoot the script of The Seventh Seal by head of production Karl Anders Dimning, who earlier had turned down the script. 
And when the seventh seal also turned out to be a huge success, Bergman could more or less make the films he wanted. And this is Gunnel Broström playing the wife in the quarrelling couple that gets a ride in the professor's car. Here we have Gunnar Sjöberg in the role of the prosecutor in a nightmare sequence, accusing the professor of a lifelong cold-heartedness, in particular against his now deceased wife. Acting as the aging professor was Sjöström's last performance in film, and it is arguably his best ever performance alongside the one he played in his own The Phantom Chariot, in which he also portrayed an aging man being forced to look back on his life, and in particular on the pain and injustices he inflicted upon others. Here is some footage from the scenes shot in the Stockholm archipelago, included in the light and happy memories the professor has of his childhood. And once again, the cinematographer Gunnar Fischer. And here some of the actors have gathered in front of the house in the film where the professor spent the summers of his childhood. And this is Bibi Andersson as Isaks cousin Sara, together with Per Sjöstrand who plays Siegfried, the cousin that won Sara's heart. It's always fascinating to see familiar places from famous black and white films suddenly appear in color, as in this kind of behind the scenes footage. Members of cast and crew have accounted for the happy and good-hearted atmosphere that prevailed during the shooting of Wild Strawberries. And here we once again have Gunnar Fischer. When Fischer began working as a cameraman at Svensk Film Industry in the 1930s, he had legendary cinematographer Julius Jansson as his mentor and tutor. Julius Jansson was one of the most distinguished of all cinematographers during the silent era, and he was behind the camera on some of the most classic Swedish silent films, among them of course The Phantom Chariot, directed by Sjöström. The Phantom Chariot was incidentally the first film shot at Svensk Film Industries Rosunda Studios, when they were ready to take in use in the spring of 1920.
The shooting of Wild Strawberries was completed by the end of August in 1957. And the film opened at Christmas later the same year at the Reda Kvarn Theatre in Stockholm. Wild Strawberries received rave reviews by Swedish critics and it was also tremendously successful abroad, winning the Golden Bear at the Berlin Film Festival in 1958. And the film's reputation has continued to grow ever since and it is now widely regarded as not only being among Bergman's best achievements but indeed as one of the best films ever made. These images were taken during the shooting of a nightmare sequence in Wild Strawberries, where the aging professor is dreaming of his own death. And this horse carriage in the nightmare sequence from Wild Strawberries could in a way be seen as Bergman's version of the Phantom Chariot. <laughs> 